I shot him six times. What's going on, horror fanatics? Welcome to I Shot Him Six Times YouTube Horror Movie Channel. As you know, I'm your host and creator of the channel, Marcus. If you have not done so already, please shoot this video a like. It helps out the YouTube algorithm a ton. As well as if you're a new viewer to this channel, please shoot that subscribe button as well as that notification icon so you get all the latest content updates to the channel. So two days ago, Drew Barrymore came out with an interesting comment in reference to her Casey Becker character in Scream 1996, as she believes there's a way that they can bring the character back in Scream 7, and she shows interest in this happening. Parker Posey, who plays Jennifer Jolie in Scream 3, followed suit with this claim as well, saying that she believes her character can make a return in Scream 7, as well as in future sequels. So without wasting any more time, let's take a look at these articles that has hit the social media airwaves and let's see what these ladies have to say. We start off with this article here from IndieWire, which states Drew Barrymore believes her Scream character could have survived opening scene. It was like a C-section. Drew Barrymore may have bested Ghostface. The star of 1996's Scream teased that despite her iconic cold open kill, her character Casey Becker could still be alive and ready to return to the enduring franchise. It's funny, I've never thought of it this way, but I'm pretty sure a C-section is comparable to what happened to her, Barrymore said during the Drew Barrymore show via Entertainment Weekly. Like, literally, and I'm here, I'm fine, so maybe Casey Becker will be okay. The 51st Dates actress teased, with good writing, you can make anything happen. I'm so glad that this franchise is still such a viable commodity. Scream 6 brought back a presumed dead character with Hayden Panettiere's Kirby, not only having survived the Scream 4 stabbing, but now thriving as an FBI agent. The article continues to read, I thought she died. I get so confused, franchise staple Courtney Cox said of Panettiere's character ahead of the Scream 6 premiere. There's been so many. It's so interesting how people came back I have to remember. Rumors also swirled that Scream alum Matthew Lillard, who played one half of the original Ghostface Killers in the 1996 film, alongside Skeet Ulrich, will appear in some capacity despite his character's perceived death. Ulrich has reprised a role from beyond the character's grave as the late on-screen father of new franchise lead Melissa Barrera. As the Scream franchise, now helmed by co-directors Matthew Bettinelli Open and Tyler Gillette of Radio Silence, following Wes Craven's death, continues to revisit the previous films, it's entirely plausible that Barrymore and Lillard could return. Okay, everyone, so I'm going to chime in here real quick with my thoughts before I get to Parker Posey's comments about her character, Jennifer Jolie, returning. Listen, it is, this is no shade against Drew Barrymore. I love her as an actress. I love the opening kill of Scream 1996. It's iconic. And for that reason and for many other reasons, I just don't believe there is a way that you could bring this character back. Especially, you know, her comparing it to a C-section. I don't know how that goes down, but I'm pretty sure a C-section doesn't include with your insides hanging on the outside, like in a vicious manner anyway, like being carved up the way she was on top of being hung from a tree. Like that's overkill to me. And in my opinion, there's no way that you can bring that character back from that. And if they were to do that, in my opinion, I think it would only hurt that film even more for the simple fact is that you're getting past the point of believability. Now, I know that in Scream 5 and Scream 6, we've witnessed our returning characters take a considerable amount of punishment, but not the amount of punishment to the degree that Casey Becker took in that opening scene in Scream 1996. Not that vicious, not that, not just, it's nowhere near the comparison in my opinion. And I just feel like it would be a mistake if Radio Silence or whoever, you know, if Radio Silence does a return for Scream 7, whoever the creators are, I think that that pitch would not be a great idea, especially for believability purposes. At that point, you're just basically making fun of the franchise on a whole new level. Basically, at that point, you might as well bring every dead character back, in my opinion. 
We now move on to Parker Posey. As the caption reads, Parker Posey joins Drew Barrymore in hoping Scream franchise brings her back from the dead. Quote, I actually pitched it. The Scream franchise is at an all-time high right now, with March's Scream 6 grossing $106 million and counting at the domestic box office to become the series' top-grossing film. No wonder former cast members like Drew Barrymore and Parker Posey are easy, eager to return. Posey, who has been making the press rounds in support of her role in Ari Esther's Bo is Afraid, told ComicBook.com that she's interested in reprising the role of Jennifer Jolie from 2000's Scream 3. Jennifer was the actor playing Jagail Weathers slash Courtney Cox in the Stab franchise. She was killed by Ghostface, but that didn't stop Posey from recently pitching her return to the Scream franchise. Well, I did an interview for WNYC Radio like three weeks ago for the play I was doing, and they said, well, there's some people here that want to say hi, and it was the, quote, Scream team, Posey said, and I actually pitched, can I just be in another dimension and come back and continue to? I hope so. I would love to do that. That was really fun. I can't believe Wes Craven let me get away with some of the silly stuff I was doing. I loved him, and that was fun. Okay, everyone, so now let's touch on Parker's comments. What is really interesting about these comments is that she said the Scream team basically paid her a visit while she was on this radio station. I find that interesting because I feel like if they weren't already planning to bring the character back, why would they decide to go on the same radio station and just even pop in. Now they could just be doing their due diligence just to say hi, you know, to show some respect to the actress. I'm not saying that's not the case, but given what we've got in Hayden Penetier being that she reached out and pitched the idea of Kirby coming back, it would not surprise me if radio silence has it in their bag. If they are returning for returning for scream seven, anyway, it would not surprise me if they had it in their bag for Jennifer Jolie to return. As if you are a subscriber to this channel, then you know that a few days ago, I actually made a video talking about this theory that me and my buddy Destin from Destination Station have about Jennifer Jolie possibly being alive and returning in Scream 7, given the Easter eggs that we got in Scream 6, as well as her potentially being revealed as Roman Bridger's accomplice in Scream 3. I'm going to leave that video at the end screen of this video, so those who have not watched that video can take a peep at it, and hit the comment section and let me know what you guys think about that theory. But, in terms of Jennifer Jolie returning, I am definitely on board with this idea, as if you go back and watch Scream 3, as I stated in that video about her possibly being alive, her wounds were definitely survivable. She only got stabbed in the back and basically in the shoulder area. If you rewatch it, that's where it looks like the location of the stab wound ended up in. And she also got stabbed in the stomach. And given what we've seen, especially in Scream 5 and Scream 6, I definitely do think that she could survive those wounds and come back and play a role in Scream 7. Whether that's her typical role as Jennifer Jolie as the fake Gail Weathers, who has now been secluded and quit acting, or as a potential ghost face you revealed that she helped Roman in Scream 3. Either way, I definitely do think that there's a case to be made for this character to return in a future sequel. I don't mind dead characters turning out to be revealed alive in the Scream franchise, but I want it to make sense. And in my opinion, I think it makes a lot more sense for Parker Posey to reprise her role as Jennifer Jolie than it does for Drew Barrymore to reprise her role as Casey Becker. But okay, everyone, that is it for this video. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what y'all make of both Parker and Drew's comments about returning to the Scream franchise. Once again, this is I Shot Him Six Times, YouTube Horror Movie Channel. I'm your host and creator of the channel, Marcus. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. Thank you all for watching.